What's up everybody, welcome back. I'm Abe and this is Eve Online and today we're going to go through, I don't know, basic shipping, how I managed to get all of my things from point A to point B. Um, it becomes very useful, I mean, even if you're not going to be trading and setting things up for yourself as a, I don't know, somebody who plays the market and moving you know, equipment and modules and ore and things from point A to point B and selling at a profit. Um, but really, just from the standpoint of somebody who's trying to set themselves up to run missions in an area, right? You've got a ship, you've got probably a bunch of loot and stuff. Um, so how do you go about doing that? Um, I, this is my it was one of my alpha characters. Her name is uh, Pixamalera? Pixamalera? I don't know. It's not important or germane to what we're talking about. But if we look at the ship tree, every race, start you start out being able to fly you know, some basic industrial ship, right? You look over here, you get down and you've got your shuttle and you've got some industrial ships that are not gated by the Omega class. And usually there's two options, right? So this one has a 5% bonus to ship cargo capacity and a 5% bonus to ship inertia. And this one has cargo capacity and max velocity. So if you want to figure out what the difference is between them, uh, other than that, if you're using it as a hauler like I am, um, you want to look at the capacity, right? So this one says 3,900 cubic meters and the Terra says 7,300. Okay, so 7,300 or, or 3,900 doesn't sound like much, but if you take any of those industry ships, you like as you saw, my, my skill in, uh, or maybe you didn't notice, but my skill in flying industry ships is one. I have one skill in Caldari Industrial. And I think that's what you start out with, right? So if you take that ship and you throw on the best expanded cargo holds that you can and just fill up the low slots with them, suddenly your 7,300 cargo space turns into 20,000 and change, right? Which is a hell of a lot of space. So, so that's, a, that's a good start. If you went through and did all of the career agent missions, you, uh, you wound up with one of the industry ships. Now, I wound up with, unfortunately, they gave me the bad one, the one at least the one I thought was bad, this Badger uh, with only 3,900 cubic meters of uh, volume. So I sold that really quick and bought myself a Terra. Uh, if you're flying Minmatar, um, I got this question from Ronaldo Long on uh, YouTube here. And he said, I think that he's flying... I think he's the one flying Minmatar, but either way, just to use this as a <clears throat> as a point of comparison, each of the factions, each of the main factions has their own industrial ships. So um, there's the Hoarder, the Mammoth, and the Wreath for Minmatar. Now you'll notice there are three here, where Kaldari only had two. And the Wreath has ship cargo capacity and inertia, ship cargo capacity and velocity. And then there's this Hoarder, which has ship ammo babe capacity which is a unique thing and we won't get too much into it but so its capacity is really small but it's got an ammo hold capacity that's huge so this is specifically for hauling ammo around um, but if you look you know the mammoth has 5500 capacity compared to 2900 so these are not as good as the Caldari but you know who cares It'll, if you drop in a bunch of um, a bunch of these cargo expanders then you'll get to where you need to be. And so here's a mineral hold capacity. So the Cryos is good for hauling minerals, planetary commodities. And, and now we're down here to, uh, this one's another ore. This one's an ore hauler. The Iteron Mark V, I want to say, nope, that's, yeah, all right. So 5,800. 5, um, and you can look and examine and see how many low slots each of these things has. But for now, I, this is the ship I've got. I've got the Terra, and with only one skill point in in industry ships, I've got a little over 20,000 cubic meters of space. So when I flew myself out here, I brought three ships with me. I brought my heavy assault, or yeah, my my battle cruiser, not heavy assault battle cruiser. Um, I brought my battle cruiser, this Drake. I brought it in this ship. Um, I bought, I brought all of the, the items that I needed to outfit it with. So if I come over here and I strip fitting, yeah, we'll just remove everything. It'll dump it in here, right? So I took everything in here and I just dropped it 
straight into the Terra. And all of that gear plus whatever loot I managed to grab for, while running missions um, is only taking up 575 cubic meters. So that leaves me just under 20,000 cubic meters for something else. Now, the only way to haul ships is if they're, you like, I'm, I'm pretty sure entirely, like, across the board, the only way to haul ships is if it is repackaged, right? So this ship you can hop into, but if I go to repackage it, it'll say, hey, your insurance is going to be lost if you do this. Are you sure you want to do that? So that's something to keep in mind, because I, I bought this ship for, I don't know, 60 million. I insured it with 13 million, and that insurance policy goes completely away um, when I try to repackage it. So if that's okay with you, then don't worry about it. This is, I'm transitioning right now to from level three missions to level four. So this is going to have to be okay for me. Um, so if I just come in here and repackage, I will drop my, uh, ah, yes. One other thing. So here, let me simulate this. Um, you'll lose your insurance contract and you will also lose any of the rigs that are in here. That's unfortunate, but if you are moving from a trade hub to the place where you're going to run missions, then that's less of an issue because you haven't placed your rigs yet, probably. Um, so for this for this instance, I know this is going to fit because I, I brought it out here, and I'm just going to kiss these things goodbye. It's lost money, but for the sake of the video and for the sake of what I'm trying to do here, it's fine. So yes, yes, go ahead, get rid of the uh, the rigs, and boom. Right. So now, when I look at this, if I show info, it shows its volume is two hundred and fifty-two thousand cubic meters. But if it's packaged, it's only fifteen thousand. So I can literally just drop it into the cargo hold of this of this cargo or this in this industry ship that I've got here, and I still have you know four thousand. Uh, 4,000 to 4,500 cargo room left here. So, so yeah. So, when you look at ships uh, and you're thinking, how am I going to like transport everything that I need? This is a battle cruiser, short of a battleship. Now, what if we wanted to take our battleship somewhere? Do you think we're going to be able to fit that in in this ship? Probably not. But if you have a jump freighter, or if you have a freighter of some kind, which is, you know, obviously beyond the Omega paywall, um, you, can, you can do that. You can toss your battleship in there and uh, all of the gear you might need and head on off. So for me, I've got everything that I need here. I'm about to sneeze. <laughs> Excuse me. Um, but I've got everything I need here in this, uh, in this Terra. And I'm pretty much set. So I'll come in here. I've got... Uh, I'll just back out of here. Um, I'll make sure that I don't have anything left over in my... Ah, here we go. All right. So we've got a bunch of Tech 1 drones. We can repackage those. And put them in there as well. And we're kind of good to go. So I'm heading off to uh, Jita right now. So... I'm going to go there and I'm pretty sure I have safe spots. Yep, insta docks and undocks, that's good. And I'm 11 jumps out. So let's talk about some of this stuff while while I'm jumping. I just wrapped up here with Hennen and Sitzen and company. Um, so how can you transport things, especially, like, I, if I get blown up along the way, I'm not going to lose a lot of money. Like, co comparative to my overall net worth, I will lose a lot of money, but in general, you know, 50 million-esque is, is not a ton of money. But let's say you're transporting 500 million or 5 to 50 billion. Um, what are some ways that you can do this safely, right? Because these, these cargo ships, especially the freighters, take very long. Uh, take a very long time to align and enter warp. They're slow. Rule number one, don't use autopilot. All right, it may seem attractive, especially you have, if you have a long like track ahead of you and you're in high sec, you're like, yeah, what could possibly happen? 
well, people can suicide gank you at the gates, and then they'll have a friend come by and loot you. So you will be more likely to have that done to you, regardless of what you have in your hold, if you autopilot places. You'd be surprised at, at the things that people have stupidly lost and the sheer, sheer amount of money that has been squandered by people autopiloting and getting blown up in high sec. So don't do that. That's rule number one. Rule number two, you can map it out on the map. And, you know, in, in high sec, it's a little bit less of an issue. But if, if you come up here, I've got it colored currently by ships destroyed in the last 24 hours. And... Let's see. So Jita has had a, has had 300 ships destroyed in the last 24 hours. All right, that's good to know. So one ship in this system, right? There's a if you see a little dot, the the bigger the dot, the the more kills there have been, and the the darker the red color, right? So one ship there, three ships there, two ships there, four, and this is also counting. Um, if people are running missions and they get their ship blown up because they get in over their head, then that's another thing. So Poynton has lost 25 ships. 162 ships have been lost in Joseph Mato. So let's see here. Ships destroyed. Pirate and police ships. Uh, NPC activity personal. No. I'm looking for ships destroyed in the last hour. Geography and statistics. Number of pilots currently docked and active. Ships destroyed in the last hour. There we go. So in Josemato, there's one in the last hour. And because I'm passing through here in, in a very short period of time, I know that I will, you know, that this is a good indicator of what's going on. So it looks pretty clear along the way. 13 ships still destroyed in Jita. So... Rule number two is, is like, look ahead of you, right? Plan out as much as you can. Again, I'm not overly concerned because I don't have, you know, 500 million in, in uh, implants in this clone. I don't, I'm not carrying much of any value. I'm just, you know, I'm just kind of poking along and, and well, obviously making a video. Um, but rule, so yeah, rule number one, and I guess rule number zero is don't fly what you can't afford to lose, but that's not always an option when you're running cargo. Uh, rule number one then is uh, don't use autopilot. Rule number two is be smart about it. Look forward and and honestly if you see that there's a lot of traffic, a lot of deaths going on on the route that you're taking, either find a new route or log off and come back later. Especially on the weekend, there are a lot more people playing on the weekend and as such, they're at higher risk because people, you know, are looking for content, and you might be that content for them. Um, and then, lastly, if you can get on at server reset, one thing that a lot of a lot of people do when they are hauling large large amounts of uh, money and goods is they wait until server reset, they hop on immediately after, and then they they make their jumps. So everybody's been logged off forcibly. The server has reset, and and it's sort of the lowest population and the most relatively safely safe time to, to get through most most places. Now, obviously, the time of day when the server resets is prime time for somewhere in the world, but it's sort of the best you can hope for as a minimal amount of people online. But if you're smart about it, you don't have to worry about it. For the most part, I'm not worried when I jump around in high security space. Um, and then as you get to the trade hubs, whether it's Jita or Amar or Dodixi or Renz or wherever, um, get yourself, if you don't have them yet, set yourself up some insta-dock, insta-undock, and uh, trade, like the actual station itself. Get a bunch of bookmarks set up for yourself. Um, and that's like, I guess, its own, its own video. But basically what it is, is you go above or below... Um, the station that you're trying to dock at, like get out there in something really cheap that if it gets blown up, it's it's no loss. Get above it, get at zero, get a distance zero to the trade station and save that as an insta dock. And then instead of warping to zero to dock or just hitting the dock option when you go to hit the station, 
then you warp to your insta dock and then you hit the dock button on the target which would appear and like right around here um, and then when you undock those are a little bit harder and longer to set up basically find like once you undock let your ship get in a fast ship otherwise you'll be there forever get in a fast ship and let yourself just continue straight as fast as humanly possible for a long time until you're like a thousand or fifteen hundred or further directly out uh, kilometers not meters but kilometers out in front of the station and that way when you undock you don't have to align at all you're already going full speed you can warp some distance to your safe undock area and then warp to where you need to go from there and if you do it well and quickly enough people aren't going to be able to scan you down, warp to you, or, you know, in any way sort of get you. So that's sort of the safest way to do it. But that's shipping. And uh, there's, I'm sure, a lot more nuance and a lot more detail to it that, uh, that, that people get into who do this sort of thing as their main gameplay. I do not, so I have learned a way to do what I need to do safely, and I suggest that you do the same thing. So, no autopilot. Um, if you can avoid flying things that you can't afford to lose, do so. Map out where you're going um, and check for you know ships destroyed in the last hour. Travel at a time that is lower population, or at very least when your when your course looks safest. And otherwise, just uh, use use your bookmarks and get some insta dock and undock bookmarks set up for yourself, and go from there. And if somebody offers to trade you their bookmarks, be sure that you trust them because they could just sit there and wait for you because they know that's where you're going to pop out when you leave the station or when you come in. So so there you go. That's uh, transporting goods and up until battleships anyway, it's a good way to get all of your stuff from point A to point B. And yeah, so that's it. Thanks for watching and hopefully this helps, uh, this helps out, and if you have any other questions about this or anything else in EVE, by all means let me know and we'll make a video for you. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you in the next video.